Hey, what is up guys? Tom Spark here back with another video today. And today I'm going to be talking about Chromebooks and VPN. Now, if you have a Chromebook, you might be wondering, how do I put VPN onto my Chromebook? And this is something that's always been kind of a concern or a little bit of a tricky way to get VPN onto your Chromebook. Now, Chromebooks are very isolated devices in that um, they have their own operating system, sort of like Mac from PC, but I would say even more so. They don't have a ton of supported apps. That's one of the good things about the Chromebook, however, is that it's so lightweight and the operating system is just really fast and quick. It actually starts up super fast, even on low-end Chromebook machines. And you're not going to find that with a Windows laptop, really, unless you get into the higher price points to get that speed. Now, Chromebooks, you could get a very fast laptop for a cheap price. However, the caveat is that you might be missing on app some missing out on some applications. However, that's changed a lot recently with um, Google's new implementation of the Google Play Store on Chromebooks, which gives you a host of new apps to try and play around with due to the Google Play Store, including applications, games, and other things like that. Now, a lot of games and things aren't gonna work that great because it's kind of like a direct port from like touchscreen integration. So example, for example, I was trying to play Arena of Valor or something like that on my Chromebook. It wasn't really working too well since you're supposed to kind of tap instead of click. However, in terms of applications, it actually does work pretty good. Now, they're going to still kind of look like mobile apps on your Chromebook, but that's okay. So now we're going to talk about two things. If you have an older Chromebook, you're going to have to use the older method. And if you have a newer Chromebook, you're going to be able to use the new method. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, the older method is going to include using a browser proxy, whereas the newer method is actually going to allow you to use the VPN naturally uh, through an application. So as you guys can see, you have uh, sort of this older method. So basically what you're gonna do with your Chromebook if you have an old Chromebook, um, I'm gonna go into a little bit more right now actually about which Chromebooks are gonna have to use this older method and which Chromebooks are gonna be able to use this newer method. So basically, if you have an older Chromebook, you're probably not gonna be able to use the new method of using VPN on Chromebook. Um, that being because your Chromebook doesn't support the Google Play Store yet. So I'm gonna actually put this link in the description down below. Um, you can find this at chromium.org. Now, um, Chromium is actually kind of an adware kind of thing, so keep a lookout for Chromium, but this is a pretty decent uh, web page where you're gonna be able to find um, some cool um, information about which Chromebooks actually support the Google Play Store. And now, if you have an older Chromebook, it's probably not gonna support it. If you have a newer Chromebook, it probably is going to. However, you can see the full list of something uh, like that right here. So now, if you have an older Chromebook, let's say you have something like this. So I actually got this Chromebook uh, kind of back in around, whoa, that is not happy with that. So I got this Chromebook back around in, um, it's just like an Acer Chromebook, cost like $200 uh, back when I was in school. Um, got that around in 2014, 2013, and overall pretty good device. However, it's kind of old now, uh, the screen is really bad, and it actually doesn't support the Google Play Store. So if I want to use VPN on this Chromebook, what I'm going to have to do is use this older method. Now, through this older method, you're pretty much just going to install an extension onto your browser with Chrome. So this is going to give you an option for like SSL proxy. Now, this is going to give you some basic encryption and hide your IP address, but it's not going to have the full extension of a VPN per se, encrypting all your outward traffic. But for the most part, this is pretty good. So what you're going to do is you're going to add it to Chrome. And then as you can see here, you're going to have like a little uh, form field here where you can log in and stuff like that. So every time you go in your browser, you're going to have uh, that encryption and hidden IP address. Now, if you don't want to use TorGuard, um, TorGuard's just going to type in VPN Networks LLC Proxy into the um, Chrome store. If you don't want to use TorGuard, another VPN I recommend is going to be Private Internet Access. They have a pretty similar extension to use. Now, it's going to be the same thing. Just add it to your... Um, browser and then you're going to connect so this is going to be for the old chromebooks out there that don't support the google play store so the new method how is that going to work well i'm going to show you a video of me just kind of messing around with it showing you how you could kind of install it um, pretty much what you're going to do is you're just going to get the google play store on your chromebook and then you're going to install whatever app you want and it's pretty much just that simple it's going to be just like your pc um, just a little bit more of a mobile experience putting that uh, vpn on your chromebook connecting that way and just getting off to the races.
Now, if you're wondering about pricing for a VPN on Chromebook for the old method, you could get private internet access for around $6.95 a month. TorGuard even has a cheaper option here for the anonymous proxy, $5.95 a month, if that's something you're into. However, if you're just going to be using the newer method with the basic VPN, um, you have the $9.99 a month, uh, $30 a year, I think, for TorGuard, and then private internet access is going to be $30 for six months as well. And I meant to say $30 for six months with TorGuard. So pretty uh, equivalent pricing here, at least for six months. Now, the monthly is going to be a bit cheaper with private internet access than TorGuard. Um, if you have any questions about this uh, process, let me know down in the comments down below. Like, comment, and subscribe really helps the channel. Lately, I've been doing pretty good with this channel. We got to 315 subscribers roughly. That's pretty awesome, guys. I just like to thank you for all your support. Special shout out to Don P. Jacobs. People like him are what make this channel possible. Commenting on every video, giving me tons of likes. That's awesome. Love to see you guys questioning uh, my videos. Love to see you asking for advice. Now, you know, this is a smaller channel, so if you do ask some questions, there is a possibility that you'll actually have a video happen with your question. That's just happened uh, yesterday with a Darknet video. So, thanks for watching. Once again, logging out of Best 10 VPN, Tom Spark.